One of the most attractive tax regimes in the EU and in Europe for foreigners moving there is the Cyprus uh, tax regime. I've done some videos on this in the past, checking out, explaining the non-DOM program, how it works. And so, especially I would say for people who are traders can be a very good, or traders is a little bit, but investors, people who are investing in stocks, where sometimes that would be taxable under say the Portuguese non-habitual residency regime and things like this. Uh, you can end up with zero tax, which is fantastic. No capital gains, uh, no taxes on uh, salaries from uh, income from foreign employers, if you're spending enough time outside, uh, no dividend tax, like lots of very good tax benefits comes from there. And so the question though is, well, how would you relocate there? How would you qualify? Now, there's a variety of different programs. There's like category A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, there's something called Regulation 6.2, which I did a video on. Uh, there's a temporary residency. Today I'm going to talk to you about what is called Category F, which is probably the most, one of the most common, at least for people who aren't in a hurry and looking to fast track their process of going into Cyprus. It can be, it's pretty flexible, it's pretty easy, it's easy to qualify for, it's easy to maintain, it's actually a permanent residency. And so we're going to talk about that today. Before we do that, if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, nail the notification bell, make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos. I try to produce great content for you every single day. You can go back and check out lots and lots of good content there. If you like the videos, please share them with your friends, please give them a thumbs up, et cetera. And if you want help with any of these subjects, basically where to go, uh, like international living, international business, uh, how to structure yourself, how to relocate, tax planning, asset protection, as well on the strategy side or the implementation side. So forming companies, opening bank accounts, getting residencies, citizenships, payment processing, etc. Please reach out to me. You can book a call calendly.com forward slash Michael dash Rosmer, link in the description below, or check out our websites, offshorecitizen.net, offshorecapitalist.com and send us a message through there. Okay. So category F, category F takes 12 to 18 months to process. So it's not a super fast process. It is what they call a discretionary visa. So whereas some visas basically, you know, you check these boxes off and it's pretty straightforward, right? This one is, you know, more troublesome in that respect. Uh, however, it's easy if you kind of understand the framework behind it to structure your application to get approved, provided that you have the time. Now, why would you do this compared to something else? I've talked in a previous video about uh, Regulation 6.2, which is uh, this fast track program where you can buy real estate, you can invest in bonds, or not invest in bonds, invest in funds, you can invest in a company, etc. cetera. Uh, so why would you do this instead of that? Well, in that one, you have a minimum investment of 300,000 euros. In this, there is no uh, minimum, okay? So you could, in theory, buy a 100,000 euro property and qualify, and that is the basis under which you qualify is through purchasing property. Uh, there's no minimum income requirement, although again, we kind of target having an income that is uh, within the range that uh, would be for something else, uh, but pretty, pretty low. We're talking like 30,000 euros a month, or a year, sorry, 30,000 a year, not a month. Um, so pretty good in that respect. It is also permanent. You can maintain it simply by visiting once every two years, which is pretty good, right? You won't get citizenship that way, but if you're willing to go and actually live there, you can work towards citizenship. It's an EU citizenship. It's gonna last long term. And so, yeah, there's a lot of reasons to go for this particular program. So just to kind of summarize here, because there's not a lot to say, but category F, how does it work? Uh, you need to buy a property. The property uh, doesn't have a fixed value that it needs to be. Uh, you need to demonstrate proof of income. Uh, these are not working visas, so this is not something where you can go there and work locally. You'd have to get your income from abroad. So whether it's investments, whether it's your own business, whether it's uh, you know some employment abroad, any of those things, those are all fine. You would need to uh, have a place to stay. I mean, obviously you're buying a property, so that's uh, that's going to take care of that issue. And you need to go through the normal things, you know, the criminal record check and so on and so forth. Uh, but fairly. Uh, fairly easy to get approved and again good for somebody who wants to get into the European Union without making such a large investment. Notably, I, I think the biggest advantage of this is not just the amount of money that you have to invest, but the fact that the investment can be in any property. So if you're paying attention to Regulation 6.2, the fast track program, the way that it works is you have to buy a new property. Okay, Here you can buy 
a secondary market property. You could buy an investment property that gives you great yield. You could buy something for well below market value. You could buy something that's in foreclosure. You could buy, you know, all these things that can give you a good deal. You can actually make a good quality investment, whereas some of the others, it's harder to do that. And yeah, so you can qualify on that basis and fantastic, off you can go. So if you'd like help with that, if you'd like help with any of the other programs, you know, Portugal, Lithuania, Greece, wherever it is, uh, please reach out to us. You can book a call. Again, like I said, calendry.com forward slash Michael Rosmer. Uh, if you like the video, let us know. If you don't, please give me feedback. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I'm going to look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.